Okay, oh, it is a hot day. But it says it's 95 and it feels like it's 80. So that's better. <laughs> ah, I'm like an hour, two hours late to feed. But that's because it's so hot. If I can feed them in the evening when it cools down, I definitely like to. Now, they're going to have to wait a little bit longer for the food, or at least the ponies are. So what I'm going to do is the, neither one of the ponies tie well at all. You guys have seen my video. If you guys have seen my video with Scratchy, uh, that one video, it took him three, I didn't film the whole thing, it took him three hours to calm down. So what I'm actually going to do is put the mares in the round pin, grab one pony at a time and take them over to the patient's pole and I'm going to film some of that. And they're going to, and tie them up and when they're calm, they'll get to go back and eat. Okay, if anybody's going to ask, anybody who knows Scratchy knows this is not his head collar or his halter. I've been watching the size be too much. I call it head collar now. Uh, he has a rope halter, but whenever I've tied him with that rope halter, because he fights so much, it comes loose and it goes in his eyes. And he's actually made his eye bleed before. Um, literally went in to go to the bathroom, came back out, his eye was bleeding. So I'm using Sassy's halter on him tonight, which is the other pony. If you're new here, this is Scratchy, little Scratchy. And I'll be using her, or his, and I'll be using his rope halter on her because her head's a little bit bigger. I just want to jump on and say this is absolutely why I love the way that we built our patient's holes. Because as you'll see here, it just takes me a minute or two to unhook the click link and shorten the chain for both Saucy and Scratchy. And then when I'm done, I put it back on the link it was on for the mares and can tie the mares back up so I can lengthen this and shorten it for whatever horse I need.
She is feisty. <laughs> My, that Winnie. <laughs> she's just gotta. She's just gotta calm down. Settle down, just like Scratchy had to when I went to get her. He was quiet when I brought her over. She's gotta be quiet before I can take her back. She needs to just relax just a little bit. <laughs> oh my goodness, she's funny. I highly recommend you guys install patient poles, especially with these quick links. You've seen how quick and easy it was for me to adjust the length of the chains for the ponies. It was $113 to do two. You only have one horse, do one. Now we have four, but I only need to do two because only two are going to be tied at a time. I'm just looking for that head to go just a little lower. Her to quit looking for scratchy. Not really looking for a cock leg because we've owned her for seven or eight months. And I think this is the third time we've ever tied her. So I'm not looking for too much. Just like Scratchy, I didn't wait for him to cock his leg or anything. I just waited till he settled down. Stopped pacing. Kind of looked away from her. Paid attention to something else. That's all I need her to do is just stand normal. <laughs> not like she's got to pee. <laughs> Lower her head a little bit, relax just a tiny bit in those neck muscles. Right now she's really tense. Just looking for her to calm down. There's frustration. There's a bee in my face. Sorry about that, guys. And that's what Scratchy does. He likes to get the chain or the rope over his head and try to pull the halter off. Oh, she would just lower her head just a little bit. Nope. She says, I can't do it. I'm going to try and lay down.
Okay, I'm taking Sassy. Where's she at? <laughs> she hiding your face. <laughs> She's going back now because she finally licked and chewed, stood there for a second. She kind of looked around. She lowered her head a little bit. That was a good, good place to end with her because I feel like it would have taken way longer. It would have gotten really dark. So she started to kind of think, started to chill out a little bit, and that's when I'm going to take her away. Now, I want to say I'm definitely going to be tying them together but it's just as important to tie them apart if you could tell scratchy behaved worse when she wasn't there she behaved worse when scratchy wasn't there so just as it is very important to tie them together you don't want them dependent on that buddy so tomorrow she might be tied there by herself for a half hour while i go do something or until she's calm same thing with scratchy i might bring her back and take him and go do it or I might just do one a day. Do her one day, do him the other day. And I'm gonna switch what posts they're tied to. So they're used to both posts. And I'm gonna switch what halters they use. So they can both be tied in any halter. It's just getting them more broke um, because we want them as cart ponies. It'd be really fun to hook them up to sleds and carts and have some fun with them. But if they can't even stand tied away from each other for a little bit, or stand tied, there's no way I'm gonna hook them to something that they're gonna be pulling me on or one of my family members on. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the ponies. And if you guys wanna see more of them in their tying journeys when they're by themselves for the whole lesson, comment them down below. Uh, I'm gonna go tie up the mirrors now. <laughs> but I'd also like to jump in real quick and say, if you have a horse that's never felt pressure, this is a really good idea to do it um, with these patient's holes because it moves around the top and you can have a chain really long where they're not going to feel any pressure unless they really pull against that chain and you can slowly go down the links a couple at a time or one at a time until they feel that pressure and by then they're already going to know how to move around that post how to get it to move the chain to move and all that so if your horse has never felt pressure on the halter never been tied that's a really good way to do it it's just they're, they're really good ideas um i mean I think everybody who owns a horse should invest in it. <laughs>